Hello everyone. Once again, I want to thank all those people who have subscribed to this channel. And in the KCP for the year uh, 2019, there was question number 16 that required the candidate to work out the area of a shape that was given there. Now this shape, the candidate was supposed to give the area of that piece of land in ours. Just to mention a bit, this shape here is a combination of two shapes, the upper shape here which is a trapezium and the shape below there which is a semicircle. Now to be able to get this area, the cadet was required to remember some few concepts like for example, the cadet was supposed to remember what is a trapezium the formula for working out the area of a trapezium, application of Pythagoras theorem, what is a semicircle, working out the area of a semicircle, and the relationship between square meters and hours, plus many more other concepts that will assist the candidate to get this area. Now to begin, that is the shape that was being given. That is the shape that was being given. And as you can see, it is a combination of two shapes. That is a trapezium and a semicircle. And if they are separated, you'll find now you have the upper part which is a trapezium and the part below there which is a semicircle. Let us call part A, rather the upper part A, on the other part B or section A, and then we have section B. Section A, section A is a trapezium. Section A is a trapezium, and the trapezium is what you can see there. Just to describe a bit what is a trapezium. A trapezium is a figure that has got at least two parallel sides at least two parallel sides and as you can see this light side here is parallel to the other one there this is given as 56 but the one which is below is not given fortunately uh, the side which is not given here has got this part here which is a rectangle which is a rectangle and a rectangle has got that line which is opposite the one which is below there therefore since this one is 56 this one should also be 56 and also because this one is opposite the other one since this one is 21 that one should also be 21 and something more again this one being a rectangle there is another section here which is a lighter god triangle which is a lighter god triangle and a lighter god triangle should have a base a height and along a line here which we call the hypotenuse the hypotenuse here is given as 35 the height here should be the same as what we have here because this line and that line has to be equal so this one is 21 but the base is not given remember the base is from that head to the other head there now that we've got a trapezium how do we get the area of a trapezium the area of a trapezium is a half multiplied by height multiplied by a plus b into bracket but what is a and what is b these are just letters that has been used to denote that shorter side in this longer line that shorter line in this longer line that is what we call a and b so if you add this one and you add that one then you multiply by height you multiply by a half you'll have been able to get the area of this trapezium but now that we've got uh that length here which is the same as this one which is 56 and there is another section here which is not given this section which is part of that right god triangle we can only be able to get it if we can apply pythagoras theorem so we have to apply pythagoras theorem to get the length of the base which once we add that section and the other one which is 56 we shall have been able to get the whole of that length so according to pythagoras theorem hypotenuse squared should be equals to base squared plus height squared 
Hypotenuse is given as 35. Height is also given as 21. So what we need now to calculate is the base squared. And so with our formula for the Pythagoras theorem and the dimensions that have been given, we should now apply this theorem to help us to get the base squared. And this can be obtained by taking hypotenuse, you subtract height squared. So that is hypotenuse squared, you subtract height squared. So let us substitute what we know. We know hypotenuse, we know height. And therefore, if we can substitute hypotenuse with 35 squared, and height squared with 21 squared, and then we square 35, and then we square 21, we shall have base squared to be equivalent to uh, 1,225 with minus 441. And once we subtract this one, we shall be left with 784, which will now be our base squared. Now, base squared means base times base to be 784. So to get base, we need to get the square root of 784, which will now be equals to 28 meters. That is, the base for that right angled triangle will be 28. And now that we have from that point to the other point to be 56. And now we have calculated the base for that uh, right angled triangle to be 28. Now to get the total length, which is our B, will now be 28, we add 56. We add 56 to get 84 meters. So going back to the formula for working out the area of a trapezium, which was a half height into bracket A and B. A plus B. Our A will be 56, our B will be 84. And therefore, we shall now have a half multiplied by 21 times 140, that is 56, you add 84, you get 140. And this expression here is simplifiable because you can divide this denominator here by 2, you get 1, and the numerator part there, uh, that is 140, you divide by 2, you get 70, and therefore 21 multiplied by 70, you get 1,470 meters squared, which will now be the area for that trapezium. Let us look at the semicircle. A semicircle is made up of this curved part here and another straight line here, which will be the diameter of that circle when it was complete. And this uh, red di diameter here, this diameter here, is already what we have from this end to the other end. Remember, we've been able to get that length, which is what we already have here, that is 84. And therefore, the diameter of this semicircle is 84 meters. And since the formula for working out the area of a semicircle is pi r squared, we divide by 2 because a semicircle is half of a circle. r is radius. Pi, we were supposed to take 22 over 7. With the diameter, with the diameter here of 84, we can divide this one by 2 to get the radius because radius is half the diameter. So dividing 84 by 2, you should get 42. So the radius here will be 42. And therefore pi r squared over 2 will now be equivalent to 22 over 7 for pi radius for 42 multiplied by 42 and then we divide by 2 since this is a semicircle. Again this expression here is simplifiable. You can divide uh, the denominator 7 here by 7 to get 1 and 42 divided by 7 you get 6. 2 can be divided by 2 to get 1 and 42 can be divided by 2 to get 21. And therefore the upper part will give us 22 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 21 to give us 2,772 meters squared. Fine. 
So far, we've got the area of the trapezium. We have the area of the semicircle. If we can be able to combine this area and that area, that is the area of the trapezium and the area of the semicircle, we add the two, we shall have been able to get the area of that figure in meters squared. Let us combine the two to get the total area. That is, you take the 1,470, you add 2,772, this will now give us 4,242 meters squared. And as we had said earlier on, the candidate was supposed to remember the relationship between meters squared and hours, because the area here is supposed to be given in hours. So, for every 100 meters squared, it should be equivalent to one hour, work that was being covered in class 6. So, with the 4,242, to convert now this one to hours, we have to divide this by 100. That is 4,000. 242, we divide this one by 100, we shall be left with 42.42 hours. And going back to the choices that we are given, C was given as 42.42, which could have been the correct answer for that question. You can continue subscribing to this channel and get more and more examples. That is all what the candidate was supposed to do to get that question correct. Thank you.